features that in Snowflake that have come around the last few years that make things much, much easier. One is uh, the masking policy. So we can apply uh, masking policies to columns um, uh, uh, in tables, in views, so that we can mask sensitive data and only show that to people that should have access to that. And they're with the masking policies, they're so flexible. There's so much that we can do. We can tie those to roles or entitlement tables or, or you know, I mean, all kinds of different things to say in, in this scenario, does this person that's querying this data have the right to be able to see this data in the clear? Otherwise, they get to see it masked. So there's all kinds of rules that we can put in with that. Number two, their row access policies. Similar to the, the dynamic data masking policies, we can have tables that in the past, we had to put all kinds of, of complex uh, build entitlement tables and, and build all kinds of complexity in there. And now with Snowflake's row access policies, we can make it much, much simpler so that we can have a table that's got you know, trillions of rows of data in it. Um, and certain people should only be able to see certain rows in there. We don't have to separate that out into other tables. We use row access policies. It's very fast, it's very performant, uh, and allows us to be able to show rows from a table only to the people that should see those. We've got tags. Tags have come a long way in Snowflake. There's all kinds of things that we can do with tags. We can use those for tracking sensitive data for compliance. We can um, use those for discovery protection, resource usage. Uh, cost uh, chargeback models, all kinds of things that we can do with tags because we can place tags on on any type of object. We've also got number four is recently uh, one of the new features that came out was tag based masking policies. So instead of having to uh, take a masking policy and apply it to a specific column in a table, we can apply it to a tag and then so we can have a data classification tag, apply the policy masking policy to that tag and then when we apply that tag to a column and say all right this tag this column is sensitive it automatically applies the masking policy because it's applied to the tag so tag based masking policies is, is huge it's a game changer um, the uh, classification with snowflake with uh, we just mentioned in the what's new that it's in GA now in GCP um, but the ability to run some functions in Snowflake that will look at our data, look at our tables, look at the structures, and come back and say, look, hey, we found these, uh, class we've classified the data in these tables. This is PII, this is, this is um, you know, level one PII, level two PII, so different things there. We also have the access history secured view, um, which allows us to see every table, every column that's accessed by every query. And so we know, and we can, this supports our auditing, um, which is a big part of the data governance to see, all right, we've got some sensitive data in there. Who has access to that? Who's accessed that in the last month, in the last six months? Access history secured view allows us to see all that, both from the, like the views that are accessed, so the direct objects that are accessed, but also the base objects that are accessed. So somebody queries a view, and that view is, a, is joined five tables that are joined together, in that same secured view, we can see that they access that view, and then we can also see all of the tables underlying that were actually accessed. And then we've got the object dependencies in Snowflake um, where we can take a look at um, if we've got a view, or if we've got something, we can see the lineage and the dependencies of different objects within Snowflake. So all of these are really key features um, in Snowflake that will really support our data governance efforts. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.